Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Okolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time here, thank you for coming back. So today we are going to be taking a look at the new Huda Beauty Foundation as well as the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base, her primer. This is the full filter um, high coverage foundation in the shade Nutmeg 520. And uh, I'm not going to ramble on too much. We're going to jump right into this video. But do not forget to subscribe down below. I think it should be on this side. No, it should actually be on this side. Yes, it should be on this side. But don't forget to subscribe. It helps me help you because I know that you are feeling what it is you are seeing. And give me a thumbs up because it helps, you know, push my content out to others as well so that they can enjoy the footage as well i hope you guys do enjoy the tutorial let me know in the comment sections what you think and now let's jump right in so huda beauty launched her full filter foundations on october 13th i went ahead and i purchased a shade that i thought was my shade we launched six shades in fair light medium tan and rich so i fell in the rich category which is the 500 so 500 down to 550 those are the six shades and i am shade i matched myself to shade 520 which is described 520 nutmeg is described as having golden undertones i will say her charting system which you can find on her website i will try and insert a picture here her charting system, I believe, is actually it's pretty user friendly because it does give uh, comparisons to major brands and major uh, popular foundations on the market currently that do have similar tones or similar shades in their line specifically. So this is what the foundation itself looks like. It kind of matches my background, actually. And the primer comes in a tube like this so the primer retails for 35 dollars and you get 1.01 fluid ounces so it's pretty much saying it's supposed to create a smooth canvas it's supposed to reduce the appearance of pores and fine lines and it's supposed to make my skin look fresher and make my makeup last longer let me take a damp beauty blender so this is really moisturizing I'm trying to apply this to half of my face first It smells like a skincare product. It doesn't smell like more of like a makeup product. It smells like a skincare, like a skincare treatment almost. I'm gonna take a little more. Let me apply with my hands now on this side. I wasted a lot of the product on the other side of my face by trying to go in with a beauty blender. Ooh, it feels really nice on the skin. But it kind of just feels like a luxurious moisturizer. Okay, so, so far, I can say that my skin definitely feels... My skin feels really hydrated. It's got like a tacky-ish finish to it. But not like a really gross tacky finish. It just makes... I feel like I have um, a really, really hydrated base. So here we have the shade that I... I matched myself to trying to use the system that they had on the Huda Beauty website. This is supposed to have golden undertones. That's what it looks like on the back of my hand. Oh, what's this? Oh, how cute! Okay, so inside of it, inside of the foundation, you actually get a sample of the moisturizing makeup base. I didn't even notice that until I until i tip that over that's really nice actually that's really smart that they give you a sample of this so that the first time you actually go in to use it you will see how well this works with it and then you'll go ahead and decide if you want to buy it that's really smart so i actually like that so i'm i'm taking two pumps this is described as a full coverage foundation let me just read what it says on the sephora website it is a velvety smooth liquid foundation that delivers Full coverage and an airbrushed finish for a second skin look. That is a lot. So it's supposed to be full coverage, give you an airbrush finished, 
and at the same time look like second skin. What it does, the full filter foundation is packed with ultra with ultra refined pigments that visually diminish the appearance of blemishes, conceal hyperpigmentation, smooth skin, and blur imperfections. The formula blends seamlessly with skin using as little as one pump. So it's saying with as little as one pump, I can get full coverage and I already put two pumps on the back of my hand. So let's see how this goes. I kind of want to do one side with a beauty blender and one side with a brush. So I'm going to go in with a brush first and then I'm going to go in with a beauty blender after on the other side. Now I do personally, I have hyperpigmentation like around around my mouth area. I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm going in on the back of my hand with half of what I had squeezed out. I'm gonna just go in. Should I zoom in further? Let me zoom in further. Buff this in. Hmm. Okay, this shit is full coverage. This stuff is actually full coverage. Um, you know, okay, shade wise, I feel like it's might be a little lighter. I might have gone a little lighter. My body is actually slightly lighter than my face, so I do. I think it might actually work out. So let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the beauty blender on this side now. Let's see what's left. You know what, it does look like second skin, I'm not gonna lie. This stuff is really, really full coverage. <laughs> if you're not put it, used to putting on really full coverage foundations, I suggest you use a beauty blender to kind of work this into your skin first. But damn, it's a creamy gel-like consistency, which I guess is why they described it more as a velvety consistency. I, I like the shade match, actually. It's got enough golden hues in it. I think this definitely, usually I don't even bother with matching my neck because it's not like I, my, my chest I mean, because it's not like I'm wearing like low cut shirts or anything all the time. But the, my chest and honestly the rest of my body is actually lighter than my face. This is really nice no imperfections whatsoever hyperpigmentation haps is definitely gone <laughs> definitely definitely gone i can say that i could have gotten away with I, I could have gotten away with just one pump now let me mention that there is 1.18 fluid ounces in this foundation bottle and it does retail for 40 dollars. if i didn't say that before hoda beauty described it as drying down to like um almost a powder-like consistency, so you shouldn't have to powder your face. So I'm not gonna powder my face with this foundation. First impression so far, I will say I do like this foundation. I like the undertone. I don't think I look orange with this foundation, which is very important to me. I literally have, when it comes to makeup, that's probably my biggest fear looking. Let me look to my hand. No, I don't look orange. No, it's not it's not bad it's not that bad now what I'm gonna do next is just go ahead finish the rest of my face okay so we are back with the finished look my eyes I do have the Huda Beauty palette so my final thoughts on this foundation I really like this foundation it's funny because it doesn't describe it fully as a like a matte foundation Hooded says it dries down to a powder finish. However, it doesn't describe it fully as like a matte foundation. However, this is a this is a matte foundation, but I like it because it's a comfortable matte foundation. What I am going to do is because these two foundations, the, the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation and the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Oh my god, they sound so much alike. Because they launched kind of at the same period and because they kind of have the same finish i'm going to do a wear test of the two of them to compare the two of them but in terms of this foundation i will definitely call this a rebuy two reasons why one because of the amount of product you get in here it's 1.18 fluid ounces i think this is the most i've ever seen in a foundation i don't 
I don't think I've ever seen a foundation with more. Let me see. The Fenty has 1.08. So this has 0.1 fluid ounces more than um, the Fenty foundation. Boy, is this thing full coverage, which means you're definitely getting you know, more bang for your buck. It is $40 and I absolutely think it is worth $40. Um, and secondly, I have to say that the shade matching is pretty spot on. Like even with the 30 shades, I think it's very diverse. One thing I will give to her is her matching of the undertones. She did a very, very good job with kind of bringing out the olives, the olive, the yellows, the golden tones and not just bringing out red 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 foundations when you get to rich like not all dark skinned people have red undertones i'm one of those people who does not have you know like deep red undertones so i'm really really happy that she was able to do that that this is re this is a really really good match um the next closest thing i've actually found to something like this is actually my long comb tint doll foundation and that's a $48 foundation um, in terms of undertones and getting the shade ranges right. Will I rebuy this? Absolutely. This is definitely a rebuy for me. Shout out to Huda Beauty. My shade is 520 and it does go up to 550. So she has 40, 40, 50. <laughs> she has three of there are three deeper, darker shades after my skin tone. With that being said, could she add more shades? Absolutely. There are definitely more than three shades you know after my skin tone on the darker end of the spectrum. i mean on even on even on the lighter end of the spectrum too there are definitely some some in between shades that could be added for her first launch this was a really 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 good job um with shade range could be a little better but with undertones yeah this was really good really really good so with the primer, the reason why I will say this is a good primer is because I'm used to moisturizing bases. I moisturize my skin with raw shea butter and sometimes a little bit of coconut oil. So I will say this is really, really good. It's very hydrating and it does leave your skin very supple and slightly tacky. So your makeup does, you know, like stick on there like glue. So yes, this is a good primer. 35 bucks though i don't know i'm just not when it comes to primers i don't know spending a lot of money on primers is just like it's kind of a it's a painful thing to do um especially when they just feel like moisturizers like i could just get away with using a moisturizer and if you have dry skin you will like this the fact that it does say on here that you can actually use this as a moisturizer makes me just think why not just get a freaking good moisturizer it's so comfortable and i did not powder all over my face guys i only i bronzed around my face and you know i um i lightly powdered my concealer in the center of my face but other than that it's just the foundation it's uh it dries down to a powder finish and it's comfortable it's beautiful i really like it a lot um i definitely will be rebuying it so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. And let me know if you are going to try this foundation. I I really like it personally. I, I definitely think it is worth giving a shot. Uh, her products are really good. And, and you can tell that they put in a lot of effort, um, a lot of time and effort into the little details, which is something I do appreciate. So yeah, I wish her all the best with this. And I, I, I hope to see many, many more shades, many more shades, especially on the deeper, darker end of the spectrum. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next tutorial. Don't forget to check out my previous videos. Stay blessed and stay golden.